Hello and welcome to Greg Tech from Scratch episode number 3. I'm Edrald and today I will be showing you what I consider to be Greg Tech basic machines, of which Greg Tech adds a lot. Uh, some of them are upgrades of uh, industrial curve machines, some of them add functionality of their own. So I'm just gonna get started showing you the Greg Tech Computer Cube an expensive machine that has a ton of functionality. If you click on the M up here, you get to the first function, which is a reactor simulator. And this reactor simulator supports um, GregTech reactor components. And to make it work, you simply choose, simply put in your design here, and then you can run it. And it's gonna tell you, it's gonna act like if it were a reactor, it's going to tell you how long it lasts till it explodes and explosion power and how much EU it generates and you can save your designs with the red arrow and you can load them with the green arrow. This slot here uh, sets, you can set it to one component and then when you left click here you'll start from that component instead of starting uh, from the default. Um, okay, next up, it also scans seats. You just put a seat bag, an unidentified seat bag on the left, and you get an identified one on the right. Next up, centrifuge recipes. You can browse them with the arrows. Um, then, fusion reactor recipes, um, in game wiki that talks about many of the blocks and items that Greg Tech introduces. And finally, electrolyzer recipes. That's all the Greg Tech computer cube does. It requires some energy, as do all of the other blocks. Here we have the microwave oven. Microwave oven, it's like a furnace, except it only cooks food. If you try to smell something that's not food in there, prepare for a big explosion. Next up, we got automatic macerator. Um, these five machines are the automatic versions of the industrial craft machines. There's the macerator, extractor, compressor, recycler, and furnace. And why do we call them automatic? Because if you use a wrench, uh, you can shift click on one of the sides and you get this square here. And this is where all the output is going to go if there is an inventory attached to it. So if you get yourself a chest, and put it here, and then you put something to smelt. Once it's done processing, um, the ingot it's gonna go to the chest. It doesn't appear here, it goes directly here. So that's um, if you chain machines together, you could create a, a, an assembly line where, like, you know, you could put like uh, ores in a macerator, and then the dust goes straight into the furnace and then into a chest or something. Next up we got the automatic wire mill. Automatic wire mill makes cables. Saves you, um, makes an unsulated cables and it saves you ingots. It's, actu it's actually cheaper than making them in the crafting table. And you simply put the ingot there like it did and it's just gonna make the cables for you. Just like that. And then, of course, um, you can then um, insulate them with rubber. Uh, here we have the alloy smelter. It makes some convenience recipes like Electrum and uh, Invar ingots and hardened glass, brass, um, bronze as well. This combines two types of ingots to make a third type. So you can explore the recipes of your own and see what it does. Um, automatic canning machine, it has replaced some recipes that you used to be able to do on the crafting table, like for example uranium cells. Now you can only make them here um, simply by putting some cells, some, some uranium in here. Just like that, and it's gonna make the, the uranium cells. And in this case they're not gonna stack, so you probably wanna use the um, output interface here so that the cells go into a chest. 
Next up, the plate bending machine. I went over this one on the first episode. It makes plates, and plates are really important. You can make tons of machines with plates. Just put an ingot, and it'll make the plate corresponding to that ingot. So copper, copper plate, bronze, bronze plate, etc. Um, assembly machine makes circuits and a ton of other stuff as well. I believe it saves you resources, so I think it's in your best interest to make um, circuits this way. Um, it also makes some of the uh, generating power generating machines that you used to be able to make in the crafting machine uh, crafting table, but now you make them here. And uh, solar panels are, are also made in this one. Um, so are some of uh, many of Greg Tech blocks. So there you go. You can explore the recipes uh, in game. Um, centrifuge. It's a very important machine with a ton of recipes. Um, one of the main recipes I think that many people use would be the one where you get lava. Let's see if I find it. And you get electrum copper. Uh, tungsten and tin and you don't just need to put lava cells you can uh, actually uh, pump lava with tubes or liquid ducts and it'll make it'll make the same except less tin so that's one of the main recipes and um, there's also the recipe with uh, sticky resin makes a ton of rubber uh, redstone makes rubby dust which uh, eventually you can turn into chrome so that's important as well um, glowstone allows you to get redstone and, and gold and you can explore the other recipes on your own. Um, here we have the printing factory. It, what can it make? Well, it can make maps with 8 paper and 1 compass. It can also make um, templates with 8 paper and with uh, paper and ink and it can copy maps uh, it doesn't have a um, recipe interface but um, uh, if you google it you probably can find some recipes uh, you can also dye stuff like if you put wool and, and some dye it'll um, it'll go ahead and dye it but of course you can also do that in a crafting table so um, that's easier. Uh, here we have the universal macerator. It combines the functions of a, a industrial craft macerator, a pulverizer, and a block breaker. I mean, um, rock breaker from in railcraft. And basically, it's gonna try to. Um, it's gonna go in order from one to the other. I'm not sure what the order is, but um, it's gonna try to find a valid recipe. And if it doesn't find it in one of the machines, like let's say it tries the macerator, if it doesn't find a valid recipe, it's gonna try the um, rock breaker. If it doesn't work, it's gonna try the pulverizer recipes until it finds one that it works. And then it's just gonna act like a macerator. Um, electrolyzer has some important recipes of which you wanna know water to hydrogen, uh, electrolyzed water cell to hydrogen, um, yeah, and water to electrolyze water cell, and also bauxite to titanium, also uh, you get aluminium, um, and ruby dust to chrome, those are a few of the most important recipes, along with um, emerald dust to beryllium, uh, you'll need those to make like for example fusion reactors stuff like that and to make tools like advanced diamond drills etc here we have oh and this machine takes 128 EU per tick but of course you can see that if you hover over the machine in your inventory um, let's see if I can get it 128 electric rock breaker makes cobble it's a cobble generator you put lava on one side water on the other um, you give it energy, 30, 32, and it makes cobalt. And if you give 
give it redstone on the bottom. It's gonna consume one redstone when it generates a cobalt and it's gonna turn it into obsidian. So it's a really simple way to get obsidian. Uh, next up, crop harvester. This is the crop harvester. Um, this side will harvest um, industrial craft crops. It won't remove the plant, it'll it'll be as if you right clicked on it. So if you right click on this you just get the wheat here and it'll uh, take it from this side and put it on the other on the side with the red uh, red thing there and it puts it in the chest and as you can see it, it, it only does it with the plant that's right in front of it not with the other ones and it consumes 30 EU, uh, EU per tick or it accepts up to 30 EU, 32 EU per tick um, next we have the X scrap boxinator uh, really simple um, needs energy of course and if you put scrap boxes or scrap it'll use it to make um, you know whatever scrap boxes give you and it'll put it in, a, in a chest next to it if um, well it'll put it on the chest attached to the red interface there um, here we have chemical reactor combines two cells and makes a third one pretty easy now here we have the advanced pump the advanced pump is like a Grectex version of um, an industrial crafts pump except it has a much larger area and instead of using cells which you can still use you can uh, also pump the lava that it drains out with uh, Billcraft pipes or liquidates etc. Et so why don't we um, get it to work and see what it does. Uh, I'm just putting some mining pipes there it should go down there you go and I um, turn on the engine and as you can see there are no cells in the interface normally they would go in the in side and the empty cells would go in the out um, slot so once it's it's inside it's gonna start draining lava from here pretty fast and it keeps going down it can uh, it can make a hole in the ground with the mining pipe so it's just gonna go down to bedrock and drain all the liquids is it finds. Although it doesn't uh, work very well with lava but uh, you can use it in the nether and as I said it has a huge area and you can see I'm draining all the lava and putting them in a tank here. So those are all the machines that I think are um, um, basic and you should know about them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Next episode I think I'll be tackling multi-block machines, how to build them, how to know how to build them, uh, how they work. Um, well, thanks for watching this episode and see you next time.